Quilters, today's Giving Tuesday show is all about great quilts to share with your favorite causes. We'll also be taking a look at all the donations so far this year for the Quilt the World campaign, so stay tuned for plenty of quilty inspiration. I'm Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt's creativity expert. Welcome to today's trunk show called Quilts Built for Sharing. Today, we're taking a look at quilts that are perfect for sharing your gifts for your favorite causes. That's right. We'll also be taking a look at our giving back campaign called Quilt the World and see how it's going so far this year. I think it's been very successful. It has so. been. Okay. We have plenty more in store as well as great prizes, quick and easy project ideas, and so many samples to inspire you. So many samples. Well, let's get started with a look at some quilts that would be easy to build using the Go Cube system. Now we have seven sizes of our Go Mix and Match Cube blocks. Four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12. Now the beauty of the system really lies in the fact that all the shapes are the same. In all seven Mix and Match Cubes, they're just different sizes. So it's easy to switch up the cube that you're using. That's right. Now, when you're working on quilts that are easy to make quickly for sharing with your favorite causes, we often turn to larger size blocks, right? Those cubes. You bet. Here's a look at a basic four patch made with our 12 inch cube. And then here's one with our 10 inch cube. Now these blocks are put together. So for our 10 inch cube, shape number one in every cube is a square. Right. We sewed four of them together. And in this case, it would finish to 10 inches. Then in the 12 inch version, we've got two of our shape number one squares. And then equal to that, we've got our square on point that has our small half square triangle on each side of it. And that unit then is gonna equal shape number one and all of our cubes will work the same way. Now with any of our mix and match cubes, you can make over 72 quilt blocks. These are available as free downloads from our website. And get this, Erica, mm. cubes are $50 off today. Ooh, I know, it's a great time, time to add to your collection. Now with cubes, you're really only limited by your own imagination. You can build sampler quilts with you can build quilts with just one block repeated, maybe a few of your favorite blocks. But of course, we've got hundreds of free patterns available for you to download. Download. There we go. There we go on our website as well. All right, let's start by taking a look at our first quilt for the day. This is called our Go Charming Charity Quilt. It was designed by Katie Swigert of Katie Quilts. And she has used just really basic shapes on this, again, from the mix and match. She used our nine inch cube and just shape number three, those half square triangles. Here, and then shape number one for the solid yeah. squares. This would be so quick and easy to make. It would cut out so quickly for you. And I, I love it. Well, and you know, we often talk about scrap busters and stash mm -hmm. busters. Now is a really great time to think about, you know, what's in your stash? What can you make oh, for a charity quilt? Absolutely. absolutely. Now, if you're making quilts for a specific cause, you always want to check their donation guidelines for quilts. Right. Some have specific size, fabric, or color requirements like Quilts of Valor. So right. let's check out some more quilts. This is one of our favorites for Eric and I. Yes, we're, we're sentimentally attached to this. We are. Now, this is the 12 inch version of the Go Cube Stars in the Crown. It was by Marjorie Busby, a Blue Feather Quilt Studio. And we have this pattern written for every size of cube. Yep, and Eric and I did a quilt along this year. And That's this right. was one of our first quilts that we made. And I love it because everybody's fabrics were different yes. and it just really turned out beautiful. But you can see that extra star in the center from that secondary design. Right, I just love it. Um, we did actually five different quilts alongs this year, along with AQS. Yes. And we're happy to report we're gonna be doing that again next year. So be sure you, Keep an eye open for all the details on that. Okay, this one is super fun. This is called Go Dino Stomp Throw Quilt. 
and it uses our dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur medley <laughs> die, medley. and our strip dies. Look at how fun that is. It's really fun, and this would be great if you know you're giving like with a Project Linus quilt for yes. children, or Love Antonio. Love Antonio is one of our um, favorites. One of ours locally here that we've participated with. So this is a great quilt. I like it a lot. And I think the fabric is super cute. It is. The colorway right. is great. What do we have next, Erica? Oh, All from right. our 10 inch next cube. Next up is the 10 inch. This is the Go Cube 10 inch cutting edge throw quilt. And again, this is a quick and easy quilt to make. You can see we've got rectangles. We've got chisels from the companion corners. And that's really what we've got going on in this and quilt. It's we have come together signature quickly. block or am I um, not seeing that rectangle. right? Rectangle. Oh, chisel. And this is a ha the half square triangle from the mix and match, yeah. the small one. Um, read your pattern, because remember, chisels. Oh, directional shape. Directional shape. Okay, what's next, Miss Erica? Next up, we've got a big quilt for you. Yeah, and I'm just going to open some of it. This is the Co Cube 12 inch chisel around throw quilt. This is probably the heaviest quilt we have here. It really is. I'm, and I don't this know why. does use just squares and chisels with the small half square triangle for yeah. the mix and match. This would be so quick and easy to put together. Again, don't forget, chisels are, are directional, so read your directions here. But and what a fun block it creates. Well, I love that it creates kind of that pinwheel block, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And there are no Y seams. That's right. Uh, sometimes I think quilters get a little hung up on Y seams. Oh, yes. But not for this quilt. Not for this quilt it at all. It is so heavy. It's a perfect, <laughs> be stuck in the snow quilt. That's true, it is. Now, we have got a lot more great quilts to share today. So let's give away some reward points, Miss Pam. Oh, Ma let's do. It's going to help some lucky viewer who registered for today build some quilts to share. All right, great idea. The lucky registered viewer winning $100 in AccuQuilt reward points is, drum roll, please. It's Joe A.M. from Unity, Saskatchewan, Canada. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Oh, Joe should make that. She should make that. That quilt. really heavy that really quilt. Heavy quilt. <laughs> I think she needs it. Do you think it's snowing in Saskatchewan? Uh, in I think there is a strong possibility. I mean, there's I snow in Utah and Colorado. In snow Montana. other places. If it's snowing anywhere, I feel like it's in Saskatchewan. Joe, we hope you're okay. <laughs> we do. Stay warm. We Stay really warm. Do. Now, we've got plenty more quilts to share. So let's take a look at some that use strip dies. Okay, so strip dies, Erica, we, we're going to talk about it here in a second. But I have to say, the quickest, fastest, easiest way to add, oh, like, gosh. borders and sashes yes. and those kind of things. You and I just finished our um, quilts along. We used glorified nine patch. Yes. And I actually added two different borders, a smaller one and a larger one. a larger one. one to just increase the size of mm -hmm. my quilt. Right. And I use strip dies for all of it. I, all just, of it, always. Okay. And they're uh, really our most popular dies. Right, right. And um, most common is two and a half inch strips. We have a die for that. Some of you like two and a quarter for your binding. It's true. There's a die for that. That Absolutely. means you can gather up all your scraps in your stash and cut them into jelly roll quilts that are super easy to make. Oh, yes. Or um, rail fence. Rail fence. There's so many so great. Many easy patterns. Well, there's so many patterns that use those, yeah. those two and a half inch strips. Yeah. But don't forget, with 18 different strip dies, we've got wider strips, do. too. Now, one of our favorites is the Go Piece of My Heart strip quilt. And I think this is a really sweet quilt to have I gotta or make sure I did a donation quilt. Oh, yeah, it does have an up and a down, it you does. can see. So I actually made this, Erica, a few years ago out of Valentine fabric. Oh, I Valentine's remember that. Day. And it's just so fun and cute. And this is a basic quilting stitch. Actually, many domestic machines will quilt mm -hmm. this wavy stitch yep. um, for you. It doesn't have to be a long arm, and yep. you could quilt it yourself really easily that right. way. Right. And look at this pretty fabric on the back. Very pretty. I like it a lot. So you could go with the rainbow look. You could go with really whatever colors well, you wanted to. Well, you can to. do if you were doing it for a friend and they had favorite colors. You could have it in purple or oh, yes. valentine -y or whatever you wanted to do. Or, but remember, we've got a free design tool available on our website called Go Quilt. It does. And all of these patterns are going to be available in Go Quilt. So you can go in and imagine them in any color you want. Change up, print out a new pattern. Okay, now listen. 
I forgot about this quilt until today. <laughs> Because I love it so much. And uh, we had it built when we released the new um, wide six inch strip, six mm -hmm, and a half inch strip. Mm -hmm. This is called the Color Bar Quilt by Heidi Primer from the Whims Whimsical Warehouse Workshop. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Erica, I want to talk about this quilt because yes. I thought Heidi did such a beautiful job. First of all, modern, modern look, right? Yes, has very. that black background. But look what she did. You know, some of you may have ombre fabric and wonder, hmm, what should I do with that? This is you a should great make use this for quilt. it. Yes. Because notice the ombre fabric as it gets closer to the squares. But I think that it's such a beautiful quilt, has really simple quilting on it right. and bound in black. And I just think it is stunning. And so if you have ombre fabric, this is built for you. It really is. It gives it so much dimension and movement in the quilt. It's a really simple quilt too. I mean, these, the last two we've shown you, you don't have to be a master quilter to make either one of those. If you can sew a quarter inch seam, you're gonna be fine. I think I might have pieces from that quilt yeah. from a Wednesday show. <laughs> I think I'm you gonna go make home and make it. One. Well, well, you should. I just think it's so funny because ombre fabric is so popular right now, right? Right, but sometimes you get it because it's so yummy and yeah. you get home and you go, now what? Now what? Go make, yeah, you, yes. make you a quilt. Yes. Okay. Now for a lot of quilters, either the process of quilting the quilt yourself isn't your favorite part, or the expense of having someone else long arm your quilt right. can hold you back from creating as many quilts as you would like to donate. Don't worry, we've got an answer here. June Taylor Quilt As You Go kits are the perfect answer for you. Okay, here's a look at the June Taylor Quilt As You Go Savvy Strips Quilt. That would be a breeze to make. So I wanna talk about this while the, the um, graphic is up. Right. So notice that we all, all of them but one are cut with strips, okay? Right. But that middle one, we used um, flying geese from the 12 inch cube or the right. die that comes with the go big to make a different, you don't have to always just be solid strips. Right. You can make flying geese, you can make half square triangles. Right. Um, I feel like this is such a great thing. And then as you quilt it, it's, as you sew it, it's quilted and it's done. Yeah, all you have to do is bind it. It's a great answer to that. It would be a great project. You can find this project and more on our website. You can also find them at your local quilt shop. And don't forget when you're there, you're gonna want to pick up the basting spray yep. and a bottle of the Start Savvy if you don't have that. If you don't yeah. have a magic spoon wand, you want one of those too. Get it on the website. Yeah, That's right. the um, spray basting is perfect because you spray it on the fabric and then you lay down the batting that, notice how I'm doing this. Yes. You lay down the batting. It's a visual. It is a visual <laughs> thing. I've been making do some we, Do we not mats. talk with our hands all the time? We do. So you're gonna spray the fabric, then add the batting and then you just smooth it out and it just adheres to it, but it's temporary. Right. Um, so you, if you make a mistake, you can fix it. But I like that fact because I'm making placemats right now. Right. Quilts as you go placemats. And I did that and now I can just keep, if I have a little bubble in there, I keep just, smoothing I it out. Smoothing it out. <laughs> okay, we <laughs> must in stop. You, in case you wonder <laughs> what it looks like. Now, earlier this year, we kicked off our giving back campaign called Covering the World, One Quilt at a Time, 2023. Partnered with Island Boutique, which is one of our sponsors, and Baby, our other sponsor, we're seeing just how many quilts can be donated around the world. Each week, someone from Island Boutique or AccuQuilt has been donating a quilt that they made to the charity of their choice, and we invited all of you to join us as well. That's right. Now, once you've made your quilt, donate it to whatever charity you would like and post a public picture of it with the name of the charity and hashtag Quilt the World 2023 on social media, or you can post it in the Covering the World One Quilt at a Time Facebook group by December 31st. And if you follow those steps, you yes. can make as many quilts as you want to donate. And once you follow that, that means you're entered to win the monthly prize drawing, as well as the grand prize drawing that will occur on January 1st, 2024. So if you don't use that hashtag, or if you don't put them in the Facebook page, right. we don't know, and then you're not eligible. So right. make sure you use that hashtag. Now the monthly prize is worth $250. It is. And then the grand prize is amazing. So 
It has a sewing it machine. It has a sewing machine from Baby Lock, so you want to enter. Now, we have seen so many beautiful quilts being donated and to a wide variety of causes that are near and dear to the maker's hearts. In fact, it warms our hearts to report that in October alone, we had 29 quilts donated. That's amazing. But wait, the year to date total so far as of the end of October was over 160 quilts. Oh, that's amazing. And we just started like July, right? Right, right in the middle of the month. Not the start at the beginning of the yeah. year. So this was really a mid-year start and we're so excited to have that many quilts donated and out there in the world spreading love. Now, among the special causes that we received quilts for are Project Linus and Quilts of Valor. And we're seeing quilts go to many other wonderful organizations, both local and national. And we are here to report that the lovely Eric and I are joining in on the fun of giving. I kind of signed us up. She kind of did. But we are going to have fun with how we do it. So we are building a collaboration quilt yes. with 16 10-inch finished blocks. Now, each one of us is going to be making eight blocks. Right. And that we just, you know, 40 by 40, we'll right. add a little border, we'll have right. some stuff. Okay. Right. Now, we're using the same fabrics. We pulled them from yes. our stash. Right. And they're in super fun, look at these, spring the colors. Right. Happy colors. Okay. Now, here's where the fun really starts. We are not revealing our blocks to each other until all 16 are complete. Then we'll work on designing our layout, sashing, no sashing borders. So um, this is the fabric that both of our blocks are going to be made of. Mm -hmm. I've already done my eight blocks. Erica has no clue which die no I clue. used. I have not let the record show made my blocks yet, but I will be soon. <laughs> yes, she will. Very soon. Yeah. So I, I love it. I think we're going to put it together. We're right. going to talk about borders, right? Right. And then we'll bind it and have it ready to donate. Decide if we need sashing, if right. we want cornerstones. Right. You know, this is a great way to work together on a project. If you want to donate something to a, a charity that's dear to you, participate in the campaign, but feel the pressure of time, join in with a quilting buddy and make one together. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. And we're going to donate ours to um, Love Antonio, which is a local charity yes. here in Omaha. All right. Just remember, if your quilt wins a prize, it's up to you to figure out how to divide that. We are not involved. That's right. Now, I think we've got even more quilts to share, don't we? Okay. Again, I had forgotten again, about this forgotten quilt. about this one. This is why we have trunk shows. So <laughs> this is called Go Jump Stones. And what's the die? Erica? So this is a Chinese lantern. And so fun. we're going to take a look at, this is a block on board die. Block on board dies are a great way to build those donation quilts because you just need that one block. Yes. And this would be great scrappy, kind of like we see yeah. here. This has got all solids, but it could totally use prints. Yes. And it would be a really fun and easy one. Bright, cheerful. Look at this background. I love the back. The backing fabric. The backing fabulous. is fabulous. All right, so we've got another quilt to show okay, you. Okay, we have to tell you this funny story. Amanda Harwood is one of our great designers, and we love her. And um, she made this quilt. Here, i got to find the it right way. It has an upside, yeah. It does have an upside. And she made this quilt, and Eric and I were both so infatuated with it. We really we, were. We went home and made them. We did. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I have to find the real up. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. There you go. All right. So she used grandmother's fan to make this super... This is so clever. Big heart. Look at that. So look, here's the grandmother's fan block. Now that block finishes to nine inches, I think. Yes. And then this is our go big nine and a half inch, nine inch finish square. Yes. The colorway makes it a gingham background. Gingham yes. quilts are really popular. But I just love this. It's very like chocolate scrappy. and strawberries. Now, I did mine in black, white, and gray and did purples, I know you're shocked, for my heart when I made mine. And I made mine this colorway. But I think I love the fact that when Amanda made this, mm -hmm. she made the hearts. Here, we'll get up here so Greg can see. The hearts are all scrappy. They're Those very little scrappy. Fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is grandmother's fan. And it was super fun because sometimes I think people think, oh, it's curve is going to take a while. Right. It did not take a while and you only need like nine blocks. 
And then those blocks are set on point. So she's also used our setting, our great setting triangle dies yeah. along the side and then a border. It's really it's fun. One of our favorites. It is. All right, now the next one is another block on board that would be really good to use. This is the Go Walking Barefoot. Look at how with fun this is. Bear's paw. Yeah. Got it. Listen, if you live in Canada, you need to make this because does it not look like maple? Oh, no, maple leaf different than maple me. leaf is different. We do have a maple leaf dye. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so but here, it's just these four big blocks. And they make like 18 inch blocks 14, or something. 14, I think. 14 inch. There and we then go. we've added sashing and cornerstones to it, an extra border. It's so quick and easy to Super. pull this quilt together. And I love the fact that it's just the blue and the white and the gray. The blue, white, and gray. Great color combination. Okay. All right. Now we've got more, so hold on. The next one is another really fun one that's super simple to put together. This is the Go Four Patch Fun Quilt. So we've got four inch squares. Big squares. We've got little squares. So you can make this out of any size cube. You would just right. use shapes one and two. Yeah. And you're just going to create four patches and then four patches within four patches. Yeah. And I think it's really fun. And look at this fabric on the back. This is really fun fabric on the back. It's like maps. Yes, all kinds of things. And we've got another one that's called the Go Big Block Quilt. I have this amazing tote this is back here that has all this. Okay, well, first of all, magical look at- tote. First, you have to look at the backing fabric. Look at how fun that this is. This is just so fun. Goodness sakes. Okay, and Erica, I have no idea what this is made of. So, oh my goodness, so the, what size square cubes so do we use? we've got I think five inch finished squares. Yeah. So, but it's put together to build really big blocks. So just because it's a 10 inch cube, doesn't mean you're just making 10 inch blocks. Right. Because this one is put together, this is not a four patch, it's a 16 patch. Yeah. So we've got our shape number one. Here's our shape number three. This is our big half square triangle. Yep. Then we've got two of our quarter square triangles. Yep. So Really, it's all put together so slick. Four big blocks, you're done. I it's like got a this. little sashing. It's just a happy quilt. It is happy. It looks like birthday. It has kind and they're kind of like opposites. So oh, here. the colorway is kind of these two are the same and these two are the same. It has little candies on it. It's just happy. I'm just loving it. Okay, I think we have one more in here. We do. We've got one more, and this is this is all for you <laughs> because it's your favorite, one of your favorite shapes. It's called Go Knock Your Block Off Quilt. Oh, and it it's a square and a square and a square. Square and a square and a square. A lot of people will call this an economy block. And Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I like it a square and a square and a square. Square and a square and a square. It's more fun to say than. So it starts with shape number four. Four. So it starts with your square on point. It's got your small half square triangle. And then it's got your, what do we have on the outside? Uh, large half square triangle. Large half square triangle. I think those are quarter square triangles. Quarter square triangles. There we go. Yeah. I like this one a lot. But again, a great way to use your cubes up, great way to use your stash, use your scraps. And again, Fabulous. if you want to make your quilt a little bigger, just add another border. Yes, or just use a bigger size cube. A bigger size cube. There you go. Okay. Now remember, you have, oh, you want to going. share your picture of your quilt along with the cause that you've donated it to on social media using hashtag quilt the world 2023 so your quilt can be counted in the total for the year and so you're entered into the drawings. I'm just amazed that we've already done 160 quilts this year. Isn't that fun? Since July 1st, right? It makes me happy. It makes me so happy. It makes me happy. All right, speaking of happy, our friends at Chan and Fabric gave us fabric selections to give away. And you know fabric always makes us happy. You're gonna love this. Oh, ooh. Shannon Fabrics, you are so they good to us. They never disappoint, do they? They never do. Oh, I can just sit here and cuddle with it. Okay. Oh, it's called Cuddle. <laughs> it is called Cuddle. It's sweet strips. They're 10 inch strips. And yes. this is your color, Erica, this minty yes, blue this color. This minty blue right here. green. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm they say it. we have to give it away. Oh, all right. Well, the first winner of a Shannon Fabric selection is, drum roll please. Virginia B. from Clover, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Second winner of a section fabric is, drum roll please. Carrie W. 
you from DeForest, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Congratulations, Carrie. Awesome. You're gonna love this. This is so fun. 10 inch strips. Yes, now a big thank you to Shannon for sponsoring today's trunk show and helping us make this such a fun show. Our quilters are gonna love making this fabric to help make the world a softer place. I love their slogan. They do. They're so fun. Quilters, we have tons of great deals available for you on our website, including yes. how much off cubes? $50. $50, get them. They never go on sale. $50. All right, to get your order in, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party. You can go to the site, see the offers, and place your order. Oh, wait, one thing we have to remind everybody about. Oh, gosh, yes. Hold, please. This month's Die to Try Die is the Go Bee and Beehive, and we have to say, we're in love with this dye, but it has been a huge hit with all of you, we too. We have real limited supplies. They are very, yeah, we are down to the wire on this. And remember, it's a dye to try, so you can only get it from us or your local quilt store and only during the month or while supplies last. Yep. So don't it, forget, if you haven't gotten one yet, pop it in your cart. Uh, November 30th, they're going to fly away. If there's any left, and I don't think I don't there's going to be any left. Be. All right, it is time for us to get ready for our next show. We hope you've been inspired as we've shared your, oh, here, hold on, let me say this the right <laughs> way. We hope we've inspired you to share your quilting you talents go. with others to help cover the world one quilt at a time. Because all of your donations have inspired us. Yes, there we go, so. we saved it. See you next time, everyone. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Tomorrow we're making a block using the Go Friendship Chain Die. You want to tune in to see if you've won a door prize that we give away during the show. And join us every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time for launch parties and more trunk shows full of tips, tricks, and inspiration. Next time we'll be revealing December's Die to Try Die and announcing the November winner of Quilt the World. We hope to see you there.